Well hello and howdy whale watchers, welcome back to another Wild West Minecraft video. We're back in our good old Wild West town for another block by block tutorial. If you want to see how we built this town or any of the buildings in particular, check out my channel. I think we've almost covered every building in the town now. There's a playlist on there with all the Wild West videos so go check those out. But today we're going to be focusing our attention on a highly requested build and that my friends is the Wild West Cowboy Church. That's right guys, we finally reached the church and also in the last video I asked you amazing people to give me suggestions for names for our wild west town i've chosen the best ones to stick around for later on and i'll do the big reveal so just a quick shout out to all you amazing people who've subscribed recently you're also amazing and appreciate your support so so much so if you haven't subscribed and want to see more videos like this then you know what to do anyway let's stop mumbling on and get on with the wild west church tutorial so before we get started let's check what we're going to need for the build we're going to need some birch planks, some stripped birch logs, some spruce planks, spruce stairs, some dark oak stairs, some spruce fences, spruce doors and trap doors, some of the beautiful new chains, some grey glass panes, some bells, some birch signs and some lanterns. Pretty easy survival materials. So let's begin the build. Before you start, make sure you have an 8 by 15 block area available. Firstly, we're going to fill in our 8x15 area with our spruce planks like we often do in our Wild West builds. This is to form that traditional wooden base that western buildings were usually built on, to give it a sturdy foundation. Next, we're going to take our birch planks and we're going to build a 4 block high wall on top of our base all the way around the platform. I found that western churches were made of wood and usually painted white but birch was the closest we could get in Minecraft to white wood but I think it looks quite good anyway. It looks quite plain at the moment but don't worry we're going to texture it up shortly. Now on the front end of the church we'll form a porch by adding a 4x2 platform using some more spruce planks. Then just add 4 spruce stairs on the front like so. Next, we're going to form some gable ends of the church by using a simple Minecraft technique. Add a row of six birch planks, then four, and then two on top of that to form a triangle shape. Do this in both ends so we can form the roof on top. Now, knock a 4x4 four four hole in the front for our doors, and then starting from the front of the building, knock out a 1x2 block hole on every third block. So there should be a two block gap between each of the window apart from the rear end where there should be a three block space. Do this on both sides of the church. Then for our large rear window make a two by four block hole in the back wall. Then just pop another two one by two windows either side of our front door. Now we're going to move on to the roof. Grab your dark oak stairs and create 5 rows on each side of the roof to form a traditional gable roof. Add an extra stair on the end of each row to form a lip over the edge. I'm sure most of you have built a roof like this in Minecraft before so sorry if I'm stating the obvious but I know that some of you out there might be pretty new to the game so if you are struggling feel free to pause the video whenever you want. To form a little entrance porch, we're going to make a miniature version of our roof using 8 more dark oak stairs on the front above the door like so. Add another 2 stairs upside down just to neaten up the arch a little bit. Then grab some more upside down dark oak stairs and pop them under the lip of the roof on both ends again just to neaten it up a little bit. Then we're going to grab our spruce fence posts and join up the porch platform to the roof like this. Add one in between those and the wall to form a little fence as well. Now we can grab our spruce doors and we're going to pop them into our 4x4 gap to form the entranceway. Now for the bell tower. We're going to knock out a 4x4 hole in our roof, 4 blocks in from the, from the front of the roof then build another 4 block high wall of birch planks in our gap to form the bell tower. each corner of our birch wall we're going to add two spruce fence posts then using our dark oak stairs we're going to build a 4x4 square and then fill in the square with some birch planks. Once you've done that add another four dark oak stairs on top of that to give our, be our bell tower a nice pointed roof. 
Now on the underside of the roof, add two bells placed diagonally from each other, hang one of them from a chain so it hangs lower than the other one. Then to finish it off, add a trim of fence posts around the top of our tower like so, beautiful. Next, we're going to grab some of our spruce trapdoors and we're going to give our wooden base a bit of a trim. Just add the trapdoors all the way around the bottom just to give it a bit more detail and a bit more interest. Now, simply go around the whole building and fill in all of our windows with the grey glass panes. I pick grey because it looks a bit dirty and dusty from all of that desert sand. Now, one of the most important parts of the build. We're going to begin texturing the walls. This is something we do in all of our builds and we do this just by replacing some of the birch planks with the stripped birch logs to make it look weathered and worn. Doing this can really separate your build from a boring looking wooden minecraft box. Do this all over the church including the bell tower. Then to add even more texture we're going to take some birch stairs and we're going to replace even more planks with these to give the illusion that some planks are missing from the building and it gives it even more interest and in story. Next add a couple of lanterns on the front of the church and then we're going to build a fence along the side of the church to make an area for a small graveyard. You can make this as big or as small as you want. Our town isn't too big so we're just going to add a few headstones using various stone blocks like stairs and walls. Then beneath each headstone add some granite to show where the graves may have been dug and the sand has been overturned. Now to add some flower pots with some withered roses in them to make them look well, well like withered roses. Um, so it looks like relatives have placed flowers but the hot sun has withered them and killed them. Now for a bit more external detail, we're going to add some random spots of granite and dirt to make the ground look trodden on and warm. Now a part I missed out earlier is something we've done in all of our wireless builds. We're going to go back around the whole building, adding rows of birch signs to make it look like someone has been repairing and nailing pieces of wood to this building for years. It adds even more texture and even more interest. Now for the interior I wanted to keep it pretty simple so I added some, some uh, pews using some stairs and some signs and then I added some roof supports using fences to hang some lovely flickering lanterns from. I added the all important lecturers, uh, lecture stands for, the, uh, for the, the priest and then we just went around the whole room adding various details like a piano, some bookshelves and then I added some extra texture to the floor and the walls and uh, you can add whatever you want inside really. I'm not the greatest at interiors so I'm sure you guys can do a better job at the interior than me. And there we have it everyone, our Wild West Church is finally complete. Sorry that this one took so long to get out, but uh, let me know down below if you enjoyed the build. And uh, if you fancy giving it a go, send me some screenshots on Twitter. I'd love to see your builds and creations, it really inspires me to keep going. Um, but that's it for the build, but it's not quite it for the video, as we still need to reveal whose name I picked for our good old Wild West town. <laughs> So there were loads and loads of really good suggestions for the town and a huge thank you to everyone who put those comments in. However, I could only pick one and the name that I picked was Dirtwater. That's right, the Wild West town of Dirtwater. This was a suggestion by Biggie Cheese, so thank you very much Biggie Cheese. That's a great suggestion. So uh, to finish the video, let's add the new town name onto our sign and uh, I say a big thank you to everyone who's watched liked and subscribed and the whale watching community is amazing so until next time guys tatty bye